Okay, okay. Yeah, I played Rick in AAU. So, what position did you uh did you always play when you was playing AAU gonna, or Rick? I ain't gonna cap you down. I played one through five. Except, like, I played every position on the court. I all because I always been a player like I ain't never I ain't never really want to lock in on one position because like maybe a, a two a two or a three. I ain't I used to like playing point, but like I didn't used to work on my handles enough. Like I'm just be blunt. Like I ain't used to put in the work to be. I used to be unconfident with the ball. I'm straight now, but back then, like when I was little, I wasn't really confident, so I wouldn't shoot and just like play defense. Like I, you ain't scoring on me. Like that's just that's just how I play to this day. But uh, yeah, bro, I play one through five, bro. I play I play any position y'all need me to play. Any, uh, okay, okay, any okay, position. Okay, okay. So um, how did you uh find your passion for music? Oh uh, man, honestly, bro, like I've been. Music has been like with me since I came into the world. Like, like since I've been here. Like, being that my grandma, my mother's mom, that passed away when we right before we moved to Atlanta, she was a singer. Not like you know what I'm saying in the studio, but she was a singer at our church, and she could just sing her ass off. Period. And uh, she, her love for music, like she always playing music. Uh, my mama was always playing music, and then take on top of that, we ran a supper club in Augusta. Like the, her, her, my grandma and her brother ran a um, a supper club. It was half restaurant and half club. It was called Mr. J's Famous Door. And um, seeing that as a kid, uh, and then plus my brother's a uh, DJ, DJ Spins. He's DJing in the other room beside me, so I'm always hearing music. So it was just like I used to just love fucking with music. Like I'd be listening to music. Shit, I was when I was a little kid before I was listening to rap and stuff, like I, I was I was a Disney kid. I was bumping the Disney music, I was bumping any music I could get a hold of, like anything. Like so and I used to always remember the words, like and um I'd be wanting to get them played in the car or I get some headphones when I had a little MP3 player. But nah bro, music music been been with me since day one. And it, it like it progressed over time, like to where I start wanting to do certain stuff in it, like uh, I learned how to play drums a little bit. Um, I learned how to play piano a little bit. Uh, and shoot, I always used to be like, like little, like little singing, dancing, rapping. Cause I ain't gonna cap, bro. Like my first favorite artist to the day was, it was Chris Brown. Like that nigga right there to go. Like so watching him as a little kid, like, bro, that nigga was like he was out dancing and singing, and all the females loved him. So it was just like, bro, <laughs> like. This yeah, <laughs> my boy owned it. So yeah, nah, that was uh, that was really that was really where like the beginnings of the music started at. Like when I start, like, cause the older I got, the more I, I just start just that's all I did. I was in the car. I want to play music. I want to have my headphones on. So yeah, it just kept progressing over time. But nah, music been with me since day one. Okay, okay, okay. Chris Brown inspires you to make music. So would you say he, that he one of my inspirations? He one of my inspirations. So. Uh, like, I can't just give him the whole thing, like, because it's like, I've been in music since before I knew about Chris Brown. Like, I've been bumping music, but he was the first artist that I can remember that was like, that I just was like, yeah, that nigga hard. Like, him, because it was like, because when that was, I'm in kindergarten, first grade, he dropped Run It. And it's like, that's playing on the radio every day. You hear Run It, you hear Yo, Excuse Me, Miss, like, all them back then. And I'm like, bro, this nigga is making great music, like. And now it went. It went. Sounded like the stuff I was already hearing. So yeah, Chris Brown, my first favorite artist. And then, uh, yeah, Chris Brown, my first favorite artist. So who, who, what other artists influenced you too besides Chris Brown? Uh, honestly, like the people who I drew a little, uh, some inspiration from. It's really been like shit, Chris Brown and Future. Really like them two. Just really them two. Like of course, like uh, I sh shout out Drake. Shout out Young Dolph. Shout out, uh, who else? Like, Bank Row Fresh. Uh, shout out, who else? I, uh, like the ball. Shoot, I used to listen to Walker Flocka a lot too. I can't lie. But, um, uh, I always just like world. I always like, I ain't never been closed in with music, bro. Like, I always just listen to all types of music and I always paid attention to how music makes people react and how they feel. So it was just like seeing how you can make all these different types of music appeal to all these different type of people that shit always fascinated me so just like when I, i'm like when i'm making my music i have to appeal to everybody or just or just disappear to that dude